Hi, I'm wanting to introduce you to Sexy HTML table number one. It you, may be slightly difficult to be believe, but this um, table here is rendered completely with basic HTML and normal style sheets. There isn't a single image used here. Um, let me just talk you through what we're going to be doing in the in the next video. So uh, the features of the table, you can see the table has rounded corners. It's these cute buttons here look really nice. They respond to the mouse over as well. Obviously the, the whole thing is, you know, it stretches nicely um, and collapses with elegance and grace. Um, there's this lovely shine um, for the selected column, which is something you very often see in these pricing tables. Um, you see one column that is highlighted as the most popular or the recommended or whatever. So this is what I've done here. And um, there's actually nothing in the HTML itself that, that says this is the selected column. It's all done with style sheets. So the selected column has the shine. The top row is also lifted with its own so that breaks out of the table with its own rounded corners the second row the price row breaks out on the top and bottom and then the bottom row as well also breaks out you can see there's a, a subtle shadow around the table as well and I think that's pretty much all the features we've got obviously some different uh, sizes on some of the text but that is one sexy table that's sexy table number one and here of course here it is with an emulator um, and this is showing it in ifo and it looks exactly the same it works exactly the same in every mobile device that that i've used so if you want to know how to do this you're going to want to watch the uh the next video which is available if you're a web design from scratch premium subscriber I definitely recommend that. Now, finally, I just want to address the the purpose of what we're doing. So, I mean, this took me many hours to do to recreate this this table and make it work in different browsers and in mobile. Do I recommend that whenever we need a pricing table, we spend several hours uh, building it up? Of course not. That would be crazy. The reason that I'm wanting to talk you through the HTML and all the CSS that I've used for this is simple. It's because knowing the HTML and the CSS um, is extremely important for not for building stuff from scratch, unless, of course, you work for a theme maker or, you know, um, a very high end website. But the same skills that you will learn when I take you through this will let you hack and tweak and edit the websites and the website elements that you're going to use when you build your own site. So I'm absolutely not recommending that that you spend half a day uh, creating a sexy table. That's a ridiculous waste of time. Um, but of course, you will be able to just to grab the CSS and grab the HTML that I've used and um, make a table like this and tweak it for your own uses so I uh, this is this is going to be the first of several I'm going to create a bunch of these um, I've really really enjoyed doing it and I'm going to enjoy talking you through it as well so I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.